Hi there everybody, my name's Roy, and today I'm going to take you through how we maintain and service an Ansel kitchen hood suppression system. So here we are in a typical kitchen system. These are the components, starting here with suppression nozzles, and up here we've got some more suppression nozzles, as well as an automatic detection system. And if we move along, back over here, we have the agent tank, the gas cartridge that expels it, as well as our manual pull station. And here is how the system works. Upon detecting a fire, a piranha fusible link responds to the rising temperature and separates. This triggers the release of gas from a cylinder which pressurizes the system and pushes a wet chemical agent throughout the pipes. This rapidly knocks down the flames. Simultaneously, an air cylinder is pressurized, tripping the mechanical shutoff valve which shuts off gas and power to the kitchen appliances. The discharged chemical reacts with a hot grease to form a securing blanket, which prevents reflashes. Almost immediately, the system initiates phase two of protection and starts to discharge water, cooling the area and remaining fuel so that it cannot reignite. So now that you've seen how it works, let's show you how we maintain it. First step is get somebody who is certified and registered to do the job. So next up, we've isolated the system. We then remove the aging tank and the gas cartridge. We check these to see that they are full and in good condition. We then move under the hood and up into the plenum. which we're looking for is our automatic detection system. We test the system by means of cutting the terminal link. When that happens, it should activate the system. Once that's happened, we change all the links out with new ones and reinstate the automatic detection system back into its normal state. We then move over to our manual system. This is a manual pull station which allows us to manually activate the system. Now that we know that the manual system is working, we then move back under the hood and have a look at our suppression nozzles. We're looking that they are clean and tidy, that there's no grease buildup, and that all our caps are on and that will prevent blockages from happening. Also we need to make sure that these nozzles are orientated correctly. So once we've finished all these checks, we then move back to our system, we put it all back and reinstate it and leave it in a full operational state. So now that you've seen how we maintain our systems, you could help yourself. Um, firstly, keeping your appliances and your hoods clean. This helps reduce the risk of fire. Secondly, these suppression nozzles have been orientated in a precise position. It is imperative that you do not push these out at any stage because you will affect the performance of the system. And finally, if you want to move your appliances around, please consult an Argus expert first because we want to make sure your system is still compliant. So our friendly team will come through every six months and inspect your system. If you have any questions, please shout out. Thanks for watching.